I'm Mr. Grinler, and here are my creatures. Welcome back to another episode of Mr. Grinless Creatures, but on today's episode, I'm not going to say it because I always say it, but we are doing like a little room tour type thing, so yes, something very different, something very different, I always say it. <laughs> so basically, Craig went to work at 6am yesterday, and uh, that's when we started on this room. We painted all the walls, because when we moved in, like the walls were half painted, so you had one colour this side, you had the same colour over there. But then you also had like a non-painted bit in the corner and I was just like, oh. and me, like with my OCD, like my eyes can't look at it for too long. And I don't know how I've, I've done it for this many months. So it took me ages. I had to get all of these tranches literally out into the kitchen. I had the heating on all day long, like literally all day long. Um, <laughs> it probably cost us a bomb, but you know, I had to keep the tea safe. There are about, I think 20 degrees uh, Celsius in the kitchen because I did put the thermometer out there. So I was happy with that. That took absolutely ages taking them all out. And then I had to take the racks out. And then I had to take everything else out. And I was moving stuff all around. We started on that side. Then we went on to that side. And then I was thinking to myself, you know what? I'm going to move the room around as well. And I've done some, uh, yeah, it, it actually looks really good. I can't wait to show you guys. I was just really worried what Craig was going to think. Because I know that he doesn't really like dark walls for a start. And, um, yeah, I literally done this without properly telling him that I was doing it. He knew I was painting, but he didn't know about the rest. <laughs> uh, but he, he likes it. He likes it at the end of the day. He likes it. And uh, I shared this on Facebook and Instagram, and I was thinking to myself, like, how am I meant to share it with you guys on YouTube because I don't have a community to have anymore. You need 500 subscribers, and I think I'm at 410. And, uh, yeah. So I'm doing a video. I've had quite a few people ask, like, you know, can you give us, like, a little room tour? And I thought this is the perfect time to do it. So let me grab the camera, and I'll show you around the room. Oh, one last thing before I grab the camera. I was thinking this might be a nice little new sort of area to record me for my intros and outros. You know, I've always got the microphone there because, well, I'll show you in a second, but yeah. I hope you like the back end. Let me know if you like it. Drop it down in the comments. Okay, so if we enter the door. Oh my God, where's the handle? You can't even see anything yet. So as we come in, you're blessed with this straight away. So, let me just move around. Do, 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 do. So, down here, obviously me and Craig, we're massive gamers. So, we got two TVs, two Xboxes, Call of Duty Vanguard, that's what we've been playing at the minute. We did play Battlefield, but, yeah, we're a bit unsure. Chivalry is another game that we're obsessed with. Halo Infinite. Playing the new San Andreas. It's not really new, it's the remastered version of San Andreas. <laughs> But enough of the gaming, so that's that's our little chill area where we can play games. Then you go on to the tees. So we have got tees going all the way around. So one rack, two, three, four, five, six. We have got a little editing area. So where we have our let me turn the woo. So we have our little monitor. We can have our laptop up on there. We've got a little microphone. Nice comfy little chair. Perfect. I love editing the spider room. So this desk was actually up in my bedroom upstairs. And uh, yeah, I, I was like, you know what, it's freezing up there. And I don't know, like in my old room, I used to edit in the spider room. And it just feels good being able to edit, looking at your Balfouris. Obviously, I've got Grindler just up there as well. You've got the uh, little Nuka Cola thing. You've got all little bits. We've got that Mine Axe. We've got the first ever. Mr. Grinless Creatures, Bread Balfoury Communal. Then we've got the spider table just over here. You know, you gotta love the spider table. So we did used to have the light up here. And uh, yeah, there's loads of headphones. We did used to have a little dome light. Like, uh, I don't know, it was like one of them studio lights with the cover over it. And uh, yeah, one day it just started smoking, so we've had to temporarily go with this. 
We've got a little emu us on the wall. We've got plenty of people's stickers on there as well. So the idea with this is we haven't got much wall art in here at the minute. But the idea is Craig's got a nice uh, Fatal Fangs uh, poster which we're going to put up here. And then we're going to put some stuff around it I think. We're going to have some stuff up here as well. And then on the walls Craig's got like a banner that he's going to put that side. And then I'll put one, like either order one and get one on the other side. Um, so we've got like banners on the wall. Obviously, we want to get uh, some blackout blinds for both sides because we got these horrible things which were here when we moved in. And then we've got a makeshift little green screen thing going on for that window. So, uh, yeah, it's a bit bit jipper at the minute. But we're going to get blackout blinds. So let me go through the tees quick. So here is basically our feeders up there. Um, we've got some slings, more slings. These ones are getting rehoused in a future video this week. Uh, we've got more slings down there, we've got some mature males and then you go on to like the little bra plast stuff so we've got loads of bra plast spiders just up here and we've got loads of fanariums as well gotta love your fanariums but with this rack here I tried doing like all cylinder tubs so we got some um, some tanks up there, these need repotting and they're going to be used and hopefully some tanks in the future uh, but all our boreal tanks here Actually, let me turn the uh, main light on, C6. Do, 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 do. Okay, so all our boreal tarantulas on this rack just here. Well, not all our boreal, actually. Them three on the bottom, ain't. <laughs> and then we've got little square tubs here. Little square tanks. So we've got little memorabilia on the, uh, the side as well. So glass tanks, glass tanks, again some square ones, absolutely brilliant, we've got some down there as well, um, I'm in love with it, absolutely in love with this room. And then we've got some of our fossorials, well these ones are fossorials, they're technically terrestrial slash fossorial, um, we've got some empty tanks here. There's some feeders for a video this week as well. Stay tuned. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just, I'm absolutely in love with it. I love it. Uh, Craig loves it as well. It's a proper little den now. I think the dark walls go well with it. You walk around. So we are very limited with space now, like very limited. Obviously, we could have fit a rack there as well. We could have racks all along here, but we have got some future plans because obviously me and Craig live together and we've got a whole house. So this gaming area is going to be coming out eventually when we need the space. So then we can put up more racks around here. We're going to try our hardest to keep the table on here because I, I just love editing um, in a spider room. Just love it. I don't know. It, it gives me some sort of, I don't know, something good. Gives me a, a cool little vibe. So the communals... Got one of them just down there. Yeah, we've got the Harheni that always escapes there. <laughs> and then we've got another communal just down there. And then obviously I've got my ones that the female's given me, which are on the shelves. Absolutely brilliant. So you've got my Killer Brackies Electric Blue here. You've got a, a Final Power Macau Cody's New River. Just absolutely brilliant. You know what, a lot of people have asked for me to actually show all my tarantulas off and one day I will. One day I will, but for now I'll just flick through. You've got the poor Terry there. I know you guys have seen her a few times. Got Brachypelma Hamori. There's one of the communals actually. Uh, yeah, this is mine and Couchlock's Arachnophobia's new spider den. Absolutely brilliant. I'm in love. So I know some of you are probably thinking, like, where's all like the storage? So empty tanks, you know, cork bark, and we have got a lot of cork bark. Trust me, we have. Um, but yeah, we like I said, we've got a whole house, and um, so we're using the rest of the house for storage. It's pretty good. But this room, I'm so happy with now. And uh, I don't know. I need like a room to be nice. I need to be able to feel calm and uh, relaxed. And this room. 100% does that and now it's just so easy just to get tranches off the shelf uh, put them on the table obviously feed them take photos take videos it's a uh, it just makes the journey a lot a lot easier and a lot smoother and uh, yeah it's good
I think we were up to just over 500 tarantulas, just over 500 tarantulas, uh, maybe some, maybe more. Uh, it depends with the communals and that, but mental, absolutely mental. But yeah, that is a quick little room tour uh, for those of you that are you know on YouTube and you don't have social media. So thank you very much for watching, guys. If you could like, comment, and share, that would be absolutely great. If you'd hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon so you're notified of when I upload next, that would be awesome. But thank you very much, guys. Mr. Grin that's down here. So my creatures. So my Balfouris. I've got a Balfouri tank down here now, so just got a point down here. But have a good week. You all deserve it. Peace. Thank you.